Yo, it's a lion's war, and the stakes are high. Lord Shadow steps up, he's ready to fly. Questions in the air, they start to rain. Can Lord clear his lane without any strain? How many deaths will Lord give out this war? He gotta maintain. Find the best counter for the fender. Lord Shadow skill, he's the ultimate contender. Maps laid out, it's a treacherous path. But Lord's got the skills, he's done the math. Checking the nodes, planning the attack. He's moving forward, there's no turning back. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 51, and this is war number seven. And we're going up against an alliance called Revenge of Lords. All right. Now, as you can see, we're back in tier three, which I actually like. Let's see who they banned. All right. So we know that Corvus isn't globally banned. And they banned Hercules, Hulkling, and Kate Bishop. So that means Corvus will most likely be coming to war. All right. Let's take a look. And see who they got planned for me here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so... We've got uh, Venom, who may get an armor up. So we have to decide what we want to do about that. Um, Corvus can do it. So we might do that. Um, let's see, we've got... Mangog, who's just annoying. Um, he doesn't really benefit from that node, so we just need a counter. Then we got Viv Vision and <laughs> Red Skull. It looks like Corvus can do both those fights. Let me make sure, because uh, he can't be nullified, staggered. Fate sealed, yeah. And let's see. Definite armor ups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, yeah, Corvus. Stomp that. And let me look because we do have a war plan already. Uh, I, th I saw it uh, posted just a second ago here. So, let's see. All right, Venom. He wants me to fight Venom with Spider-Ham. Huh. Okay. Um, Mangog also with Spider-Ham. Um, I might have to ask for a different person on that one. Uh, let me think. You know, because Venom doesn't really matter. Uh, as long as it's a good one, uh, I can bring Gladiator. Gladiator can do the Venom fight, and he can do the Mangog fight as well. Because Mangog doesn't really benefit from the nodes, so you're just doing... Um, he's not even a house of mirrors. Yeah, so he's not. Yeah, there's, there's no, um. No reason to, to really do that. Oh, he doesn't even have me bringing um, Corvus. Okay, we're going to change that up. All right. <laughs> All right, so let me see. So Viv Vision, he has me using Magneto. Mm, he can do it. Red Skull, also Magneto. He can definitely do it. Um... And see, Venom and Mangog were Spider Ham, and what mini? Uh, Sassy? Human Torch. No. Um, Node 8? No, 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 no. I'm not doing that fight. 
I do not do well with that fight at all. Uh, one of the reasons, yeah, the last time I did, I tried to do that fight, and you guys might remember, we couldn't even get past him because once Human Torch, you know, you do the flame on, but once you're you're done, if you don't get it one shot, that's it. So no, 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 no. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask him to to give me somebody else another one um let me see ebb and flow knocked down prowess yeah no yeah no i'm not i'm not i'm not doing that fight somebody else can do it somebody else would be um much better at doing that but right now i want corvus now i don't actually need proxima to be fair he has um he's he's actually not um he's not house of mirrors is he He's clarity, right? That's what it looks like, yeah. So I don't really need uh, Proxima. I can bring in Corvus. He can do Venom. He can do Viv Vision. He can do um, Red Skull. Then I could bring Spider-Ham. And do um, Mangog. And then I would have one open to handle another mini. Yeah. Oh, hold up. Oh, really? Corvus can handle that boss. Uh, let me look. Who do they have going up against the boss? Um, oh, he wants to fight him with Havoc. Who can also do it? All right. No, no, you can do that. All right. Let me um, talk to him a little bit and see... And we'll see who uh, we finally go in with. But right now, I think the better team would definitely be Corvus. After Corvus, um, it can be Spider-Ham. Spider-Ham can do uh, the Mangog for sure. He could probably do something else. And it would give me a free spot to bring in someone else. I don't actually need Magneto here. Um, and Corvus could also do that Onslaught boss. But if he wants to take the Onslaught boss, that's fine with me. Because I would uh, have to uh, boost up, power back boost and everything, and just wreck him. All right. Uh, trying to think. Now, if I did bring Proxima, I could take that penny. Yeah. Who does he have against Penny? Let's see. Penny, 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 where are you? And there you are. And got Angela assigned to Penny. See if I can switch. All right, let's get on with the fighting. Okay, so we're going to go in here with Spider-Ham, Corvus, and Proxima. All right, by now you guys should already know why Proxima is coming along. It's so that Corvus can get True Strike and don't have to worry about the um, House of Mirrors uh, defender. All right, now... This first fight, I had assigned um, 
to me, spider ham. I don't think I said that right. Spider ham is who was assigned to me to do this fight. And I was a little concerned with using him because I know that Venom randomly can get an armor up buff. And if he gets the armor up buff, he could even start with an armor up buff. But if he gets that armor up buff, Spider-Ham doesn't have any way to really counter or, or deal with that um, as far as I know. So I was watching here. We lucked out. No armor up buff in the beginning. All right. So let's just keep going. All right. I didn't really want to deal with his special uh, two. So I wanted to bait this out. Didn't know if uh, that many porker poppers was enough. It wasn't. And now he has an armor up. Okay. And I'm like, okay, let's just keep going. Hope the porker poppers got to get him to that special. Eh. Finished him off. So I'm like, well, it worked. But I still would have probably felt more comfortable using uh, Corvus. But it's all good. Now, this one, I was sure Spider-Ham would be good for. He doesn't get an armor up. And so Spider-Ham can easily take him. One of the things that makes Spider-Ham so good for this fight is that I don't have to do five-hit combos. You don't want to do five-hit combos against Mangog. It builds up his hatred faster. So with um, Spider-Ham, you'll see me. Boom, boom, boom. And that's it. Medium, light, medium. And that's not increasing his um, anger or hatred or anything. And now he's dead. Just like that. Fast fight, right? Loved that fight. Beautiful. I do love me some spider ham. All right. So now we finished off section one pretty easily. Let's move on to uh, section two. And we have Viv Vision. She'll give me a tech charge. And I was like, you know what? I'm already boosted up. Let me just go ahead and use that. I can at least get this other fight in. Um, even though it wasn't an emergency and those things take a long time to come back. But now, Corvus tells Spider-Ham, hold my beer. Watch this. Boom, 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 boom. Look at this. Done. That was faster than Spider-Ham's fight. Corvus was like, oh no, I could do this. Five, what's that? Five seconds? Come on now. Now, for this one, I wanted, because I knew that I had another uh, fight, a mini, and I wanted to make sure that I got the uh, true strike up. So to do that, I need Red Skull to evade or um, auto block. And then I knock him down. Now, did you see what just happened? I went and I moved. And you look, I'm not quite moved. It didn't really move to the node. So I'm like, no, 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 no. Let's reset that because I do not like that type of thing. That's when shenanigans happen. If it's already bugging out right there, restart your game. No need to, to push forward. Just restart your game. That's also why I didn't uh, boost up really early. Okay. So now I go back in. And I move. Uh, well, I start boosting up. And you'll see what happens now. See, now I restarted the game. So I'm thinking everything is okay. So now I'm going to boost up. Um. Got plenty of those. Love them. Love them, love them, love them. Uh, we are... Well, we got um, four. Five. Five wars after this one uh, to go in the season. So I got plenty that I can boost up every single uh, war. 
no problem. And if I do it carefully, like in this one, I just wanted to go. But when I do this, I end up using more boosts. But if I wait for others to make their moves and do what they need to do, I can boost and get further and I use less boosts. All right, so first thing I do here, you know, I'm like, I wanna wait it out. But then I was like, you know what? I can go ahead and armor break him. But then I'm like, wait, 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 I'm doing too much damage. And then that happened, which is why I put the indestructible on. I knew some, something was gonna happen. All right, bam, we got the auto block, okay? Now, boom. So I have the true strike up, and we're good. Just like that, nice and easy. All right, now, this next fight is against Penny Parker. Now, I know how to fight Penny Parker, and I remember when they adjusted her so that her auto block could auto block even your um, heavy attacks. So I'm going into this fight and I'm like, well, I got two strike up. So she's not going to be able to auto block me. So I should be able to just go in -da 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 -da, and we're good. Right? I forgot something. I want y'all to watch what happens right in the beginning here. Look to your left. Who? True strike. Nullified. Did you see that? I now don't have true strike. Because of uh, power snack on this node. I forgot about the power snack. See that? Look at that. She auto blocked and went right into the special. But I still had the uh, immune, uh, the invulnerability boost on. You see the evade? And I'm trying to see if I can get it back right now. All right, she auto blocked, right? So if I can knock her down, whoop. And she did that twice. Um, and I'm like, what? Come on. Now I should have just fired a special off because anytime you knock her down, this is why I gotta break myself out of the habit of doing heavy attacks. But I'm just like, whatever, okay? So now I'm just like, all right, we got to fight her like, you know, old school. She auto blocked me, parried me. All right, cool, cool, cool. Bam, bam, boom, done. I was like, I'm not even going to play around with her. That's, that's just, there ain't no way after I even said, you know, I can take that penny and then that going to happen? No. Okay, now, I was actually tempted to take another mini that was a spider ham on, I forgot which node, but the true strike would have been beautiful. But uh, I was waiting for the boss to be open because they assigned me the boss, Onslaught. We know that Corvus can smack down Onslaughts, right? So he assigned me the boss. If you guys watched previous seasons, you know what Corvus can do to this Onslaught. Okay, uh, a great counter and uh, pretty quick. You know, you boost up, get your power back boost on and boost up your damage and specials and everything like that. Um, and of course, since I, I did not want to go in here with less health, but I was pretty confident since I've done this fight now, fight now twice. I've fought Onslaught bosses with Corvus. So I'm confident that the fight is going to go, and I probably didn't even need to heal, you know, all the way up. But just in case, let's do that. And I can't use an invulnerability boost because I need to um, use the advanced power boost. Okay? So <clears throat> I'm boosting up here. I got my game plan in mind, and we are going to rock this onslaught. Now, I want you all to watch this fight carefully, especially the ones who have seen my last couple of fights against onslaught. All right? So you can see here I'm fully boosted. I got the power back boost. I got the um, special damage boost. I'm decked out. Okay, got two charges even. We're good, right? All right, so I go in. Okay, 
Here we go. I got one bar of power. So I'm like, okay, I just need to get to another bar of power. You know, that's it. Okay. Ah, he fired that off. I don't know why. It caught me off guard. Now I'm all newer shot. Okay, no problem. Wait for my uh, charges to come back. And then, boom. Wait a minute. That wasn't a lot of damage, and my power back didn't come back. Look at that. I'm only at one bar. Look at my other fights, and you'll see it was different. So now I'm like, okay, I need to evade this thing. Still got caught. All right. And I'm like, man, okay, we can get some power back here. Boom, boom, boom. I'm not doing a lot of damage. What is going on? So I'm like sitting here now just in shock. The fight that I did before went so smooth. I did almost back-to-back -back special twos. It was like, whoo, whoo, whoo. Waited, waited, hit one, two, whoo, whoo, whoo. Another special two. Did that, whoo, whoo. And I'm looking at this like, what just happened? What just happened? So I said, all right. You know, I feel bad now because I was like, I can take this boss, you know, from the last couple of times, you know, the fight went nice and smooth. So I'm coming back in here. I still don't know what's going on. Okay. We got him almost down. So I'm like, I should be able to finish him off without, you know, losing another attack bonus. Because if I lose another attack bonus, then I'm going to really be upset, okay? So you see me here looking at it because I'm trying to see, was there um, an issue with the node that I didn't read? Maybe my true strike was causing me to do reduced damage or something like that? I don't know, all right? So here we go, all right? All right, here we go. I'm just trying to build up to that special two, okay? And I got a special two. Here we go, wow, wow. What? Okay, that's a little bit more damage, but it's not a lot of damage. Compared to what I was doing before, where I was doing over 100K, it was like 120 plus K on my special. And I'm like, why? Why is this happening? Okay, he tried to catch me there, but it was like, nah. So what happened? there now i don't know this for sure because there's no way that i know of that um i can actually tell all right i don't know but i posted these videos up and someone suggested that it was the inequity mastery so that makes sense and it's not something that I could tell. So the inequity mastery, for every debuff on you, you're gonna do reduced damage. And reduced damage for every debuff, mind you. So reduced damage means less um, power back. So I was sitting there like, what, what, what was going on? Was the power back boost not working? But when I was looking at it, I saw that I was doing a lot less damage. And the inequity mastery is probably the culprit. So I went and I told my uh, alliance leader, I think I understand what happened, yada, yada, yada. So I'm probably not going to be able to take that fight because I don't know whether they have the inequity mastery or not. All right. And so if you watch, I had a lot of debuffs on me. And you look at the crits, they were not very, compare those crits to the crits I did uh, when I actually did the fight and soloed them. And you tell me. All right, so let me know in the comments below whether you think that was the answer, that it was the inequity mastery. All right, uh, so we'll be back in a little bit and you're gonna find out how this war ended. We're back and unfortunately we lost this war look at this man by four attack bonus looks like man shout out to our mvps 
But we are now in danger of slipping, I think, down from Platinum 3 to Platinum 4. So we need to be very careful. Um, but anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown.